Manzana. Al momento se tienen identificados inicial Security Minister Rosa Rodriguez says federal migration agents and security guards are among those who may be charged. 39 men from Central and South America died in the fire at a detention center in Juarez. Security video shows uniformed officials walking away as the flames spread. A group of men are left inside what looks to be a locked cell while it fills with smoke. Prosecutors want to know why the men were not let out. Winnipeg is one of Canada's most diverse cities, and it is becoming even more so. But the city's police force is not keeping up with Winnipeg's shifting demographics. The CBC's Emily Brass explains why that is a problem. When Constable Dale McDonald started in 1994, she was only the second black female police officer hired in Winnipeg's history. If it was a male that had called and wants to report something, he would literally look over my shoulder and talk to my male partner. McDonald persevered and encourages younger, diverse women officers to do the same. Because when you don't see yourself, you figure maybe that's not a place for me. McDonald says only four or five Winnipeg cops are black women, a tiny fraction of the 1,355 officers on the Force. And while nearly a third of Winnipeggers are ethnoculturally diverse, only 8.6% of Winnipeg police are racialized. The University of Manitoba criminologist Frank Cormier says to keep Winnipeggers safe, the police force needs more officers who aren't male and white. The worst case is that we start to end up in a situation that looks more like the United States, where, you know, innocent people are being killed simply because our police services are, are not well enough informed and are not reflective of the population that they serve. Winnipeg police are holding workshops and launched a new mentoring unit to attract female and racialized recruits. Emily Brass, CBC News, Winnipeg. The new federal budget earmarks money 